Hey guys, how's it going? Industrial Gamer here, and today I have for you an exciting mega unboxing. I have been planning this unboxing for months. In fact, uh, some of this stuff I have purchased months ago and has just been simply sitting down on the ground waiting for me to acquire the other things. And today I have finally acquired everything that I wanted to do. Thought I'd do a really fun unboxing for you guys. So if you haven't noticed already, there's a trend here. This is Corsair shit. A lot of Corsair shit. No, it's not a sponsored video. I actually spent money on pretty much all of this, besides a few of these things, which were birthday and Christmas gifts. But, uh, really exciting. In fact, some of this stuff is like a necessary upgrade. Um, for one, the keyboard that uh, I had before was just a normal K70, but unfortunately a lot of the keys broke on it. Some of them useless, but I definitely needed a new keyboard. Then there's some other things in here I just felt like I wanted to upgrade. And I feel like it would have been a really cool unboxing to sort of sit here and show you guys everything and uh, then show you the setup afterwards, all right? So uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, I think we should get right to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to unbox here is the Corsair M65 Pro followed by the MM200. Now, pretty cool. I own a normal M65 and I, I do own the white one. The reason I wanted the upgrade is quite simple. The mouse that I had before did not come with any weights in it. And uh, that was kind of unfortunate because there's a lot of times where I'm playing FPS games and I just feel like the mouse is way too light. And uh, it really screws up with my aiming versus, um, you know, checking out the mouse with the weights attached. It just feels a lot more better in the hand. So I actually asked for this as a Christmas gift six months ago. And, uh, was lucky enough to go ahead and uh, actually get it, so that was nice. Apart from it, it doesn't really have much differences but, uh, besides the normal M65. I just believe the DPI can go higher, but I don't play on a super high DPI. I think I play around 4,000 or so, so pretty standard for me. But um, the most important thing was the weights, and uh, really wanted to go ahead and get those. Now, the MM200 is uh, basically a large uh, gaming mat, and the one I had before was sort of like a no-name brand I bought for like 10 bucks on Amazon and it's been good so far but it got really dirty over time and so I wanted to get the official Corsair branded one as uh, pretty much all my equipment I have my PC cases Corsair um, you know I was using a Corsair mouse and keyboard prior to this I have a Corsair cooler a Corsair power supply in my PC a lot of my stuff is Corsair and so I kind of wanted to you know get this get these accessories and sort of build my system around that brand as it is one of the uh, more popular brands in PC gaming and uh, one of my favorites in terms of uh, a lot of their different equipment that they sell all right so let's get to unbox this which is really cool about this you can actually open it up and see what it looks like inside um, so it pretty much looks the exact same as the standard M65 there really is no difference besides just the technical specs of it but the design aesthetic is the same. And I've been using my M65 since I built my PC. And so that was, uh, what, like three or four years ago? It was a good mouse. I really actually enjoyed that mouse. And uh, that's why I didn't want to change brands and go somewhere else for um, you know, getting an upgrade here. But the weights, the fact that it didn't come with the weights really just annoyed me. Um, and I always look for them in a case, but I don't know if I just, I, I thought they were supposed to come with them, but I guess maybe the white ones didn't or something bizarre. Maybe, maybe they sold me the mouse, but they just forgot to package the weights in that. But anyway, here's the packaging. Nothing really special to go on about. Um, it looks like, oh, that's interesting. It looks like they actually changed the cables now. It's uh, it's a lot, it's gray, whereas before I believe it was, um, I think it was red or yellow, one of those. So uh, that's pretty cool here. I don't want to destroy the packaging, but um, I may have to. So yeah, uh, it's just been great, you know, sitting here and being able to upgrade. I've got some great, you know, multiplayer games coming up like Battlefield 5. I'm looking forward to playing on this setup. And, uh, you know, just some other PC games as I'm, you know, really sort of getting into uh, to the system. got some manuals and stuff in here we can toss to the side but anyway yeah so here's the actual mouse itself which is really cool I can already tell you 
the, the, the weight on it feels fantastic. You can tell that there's definitely weights in here and it just, it's a lot heavier, it's a lot more sturdier. And wow, it's so nice to feel this bread. Like mine's weathered, right? So a lot of the, uh, the uh, hard touch uh, rough plastic on the side here is actually kind of soft and slippery. So it's really nice to be able just to feel this and feel the ruggedness of everything and everything's clicky and tactile. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and set this up in a little bit and then I'll show you guys what it looks like, all right? So the other thing we're gonna be unboxing is the MM200. Like I said, this is an oversized uh, gaming mat, mat, I should say, for your mouse and whatnot. And I really love these because the design is fantastic, but uh, this also allows me to put my keyboard on it. It just gives a really clean design. Like I said, I had one on Amazon that I bought for like $10, $11. And uh, it was really good, you know, the stitching didn't come undone. It, it's a really high quality, you know, mouse uh, pad, but it's just like over the years of it being used and my, my sweaty hands on it, um, sometimes I'll have like, you know, I'll eat food up in my room and uh, I'll place like, you know, the, the plates and whatnot on the mouse pad. So it just kind of gets dirty. And I know you can wash them, but I always didn't want to ruin the mouse pad. So this one is de definitely going to be one I'm going to be keeping clean. Get rid of this other plastic. And yeah, if you if you guys don't have one of these, I mean these are fantastic. Just any one of these oversized uh, mouse mats. Let me look at this. Beautiful. Got some manuals and stuff. But yeah, really nice design. You got the Corsair logo there. The only thing I wish is that you could actually order different colors of this. Uh, you know, the, the, the little yellow accent there, I would have liked to get it in white because I don't have any yellow trims on my system. My system's just black and white. Um, and it was intentionally designed that way just to get this clean aesthetic. But this is still really nice. You can really tell it's high quality and uh, just really enjoying this. I know that they have the other one where you can get the different design on it and that one's like silver and has like a big Corsair design. I didn't want that one. I wanted one that was kind of more plain, um, you know, more clean looking and this just feels nice. It's really flexible. You can tell it has really, uh, you know, non, um, uh, you know, really gripping material here on the back. So that's really fantastic. I'm gonna set this up in a little bit. All right, so now we're unboxing uh, the Corsair Void Pro RGB headset and then the ST100, which is the headset stand. Now, I never owned a normal Corsair Void um, wireless headset. In fact, the, the original headset I was using, you guys are gonna laugh at this, is this. <laughs> This is the Microsoft Xbox stereo headset in white. And to be honest with you, this is actually decent sound. These are like 50, 60 bucks. And uh, this is actually decent stereo sound. But, you know, this is surround sound, which I'm still, I, I always kind of sigh and, and roll my eyes when people say surround sound for headphones, because it's all simulated. And a lot of times it just sounds echoey instead of very accurate. Um, but, uh, you know, th this in itself, regardless if I use it in surround sound or stereo mode, is a big upgrade in its own. Um, and this was nice because uh, th I got this for 80 bucks on sale. This is normally $100. And uh, it's beautiful. It's in white, black. You have the RGB, you know, uh, logos and stuff you can put on there. And it says on the back here, it's Discord certified, which is great. The other thing I wanted to get was the ST100. Uh, headset stand. So this is really nice. It's the official headset stand for this headset, the Corsair Void. And uh, what's really nice about this is it basically does charging built in and you have an RGB uh, light bar on the bottom here. So it just looks really nice, especially when my when this is all set up, you guys are gonna see. It's just a very clean look, very invited look, but it's still, you know, edgy and gamey in its own respect. So I'm really excited to test this out. I, to be honest, that was the main thing that was lacking in my setup on PC was the audio quality. I have the great monitor, I have the great system to power those games, but I just, I didn't have anything for my audio. My audio was severely lacking and these are gonna be nice because it's gonna give me those really nice, um, you know, premium sound speakers and whatnot. So let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, so yeah, like I said, these were $80, which is actually a pretty good deal considering they're normally a hundred bucks, uh, but these go on sale quite often. So you can actually get them some uh, for pretty cheap. 
built-in, uh, like I said, they're wireless. You have a built-in headset here. It's just a really cool design. So let's go ahead and unbox these. All right. Got some more uh, plastic tape here. All right, and oh my God, yeah, that's beautiful. Check that out. It's all it's taped down. So yeah, uh, pretty awesome. Got your headset here. We got a manual. Interesting. Uh, this right here, this looks like a uh, microphone pad, so you can attach it to you know your microphone, and give it sort of a nice look. I think uh, what do you call them? A um, uh, pop filter. That, that's probably what this is. It's a pop filter. Um, this looks like, yeah, it looks like your USB cord, plug it in, and this is the wireless dongle that you would use. Um, you can actually plug it in directly to the headset stand, so that's really nice. And that's pretty much all you have in the box is just that. So pretty cool. I can tell you already, I love the design of these, the clean white aesthetic. You got really nice padding here, which feels high quality. And uh, this, you know, this is actually really nice. This, it's interesting because uh, Jacob has this headset, right? And um, I used it a few times and it's a decent sounding headset. I'm actually, I was really happy with it. But his microphone has just stopped like uh, staying up all the time. So, uh, I mean, it just, it, it's it's different feel. His clicked when you went down. This is like a smooth, you know, uh, non-noise kind of function that you can keep going down and up with it. So it's actually pretty cool. And like I said, I wanted the headset stand so that thing isn't just sitting on my desk looking messy. This is actually gonna look really nice. So yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. I think this is like 60 bucks. You can tell, uh, this stuff is expensive, you know? Um, so I'm not gonna lie here. This was a uh, this was a birthday gift, so um, that was really nice to actually get. Like I said, out of all this stuff, the only things I spent money on were the mouse pad and uh, the actual headset. Those are the only things that I actually spent my own money on. Like I said, this was months in the planning to do this unboxing. I've actually been waiting to get this stuff and uh, open it up for you guys. So I'm really excited to finally be doing that now. So let's open this up. Pretty nice. First thing we have here is, uh, looks like an extension cable as well as a manual and then just the headset stand itself. Wow, that actually, damn. This is not cheap. This is not plastic. This is metal. This actually is full on metal. This feels really nice. Damn. I was not expecting it to feel this sturdy. This is like, you got plastic on the bottom. It looks like, I guess this stand part, this spine here is actually metal and then you have some like plastics on the bottom here, but this feels very sturdy. Like if I place this on my desk, I don't even think an earthquake is going to make this move that much. So for 60 bucks, I guess it should be, right? But, and then all we have in here is basically an extender cable. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how this all looks when I actually set it up. So you'll see, you know, the full setup and how everything is displayed, but I don't want to open it too much now. I'll get to that in a little bit, but yeah, uh, very impressed with the actual build quality there. So the last thing, and let me tell you something, this was actually necessary. I'll show you my old keyboard, right? My old K70, I was cleaning my desk and I stupidly placed my K70 because my desk is against the wall, I placed it up on the desk like this, slanted, and when I was wiping my desk off with a glass cleaner, the keyboard slipped in between the wall and the desk and fell down on the floor. And as it was going down, a bunch of the keys hit the edge of the desk and it ripped off my, my I think three of my F keys as well as it damaged my uh, control keys. So it was, uh, it was pretty bad. In fact, I tried to take the keys and glue them back together, but it just wouldn't work. And I couldn't get replacement keys because the actual plastic grooves were stuck. It actually ripped the plastic grooves. It, it, was, it was stuck in the slot. And the only way to get them out, I don't even think I could have got them out even if I had pliers. So this was definitely much needed. This was given to me uh, just recently on my birthday by someone very special. Um, so, uh, really happy to have this. So I do know that they just came out. Damn. 
I do know that, that they just came out with the Corsair K70 Mark II, which I actually looked at Best Buy to see the difference. I mean, there's a slight design difference, but I like this clean look of it. Um, I might get the Mark II when I build my new system in, you know, years down the road. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be really nice. Now the rapid fire, for those of you who don't know, yeah, here it is. So when it comes to the rapid fire, um, the main difference is, is that when you're pressing down on the keys, it, it actually reduces the amount of press down time significantly, like to the point where it's actually a big difference, more than half, I believe, than what it is with the normal K70. So it's a lot more responsive. Yeah, this is really nice. So it looks like we have two USB dongles here. Again, they're in the gray color. My old K70 was in blue. We'll place that here. We got our manual. Here we have uh, the actual wrist pad that you can put down. And then here we have, uh, looks like a tool to take off your keys as well as your uh, replacement keys. I mean, these are the, uh, these are for gaming and whatnot. So you have your WASD keys and then some other keys that you want to install. I'm actually, I'm only gonna be using the WASD keys, but it looks like you actually get replacements as well for those. So uh, those are actually pretty nice. But yeah, um, we just unboxed it all, which is really nice. I was able to get all these boxes out from the, the floor and actually take them out. What I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be setting them up on my desk and I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks so you can really fully understand, all right? Um, and I'll show you what my current desk setup looks like before and after. We'll do a before and after. That'll be pretty fun. All right, guys, so I just wanna show you the sort of before and after here of my current setup, right? Yeah, I know it's messy. Don't worry, like the subway cups and all that stuff. I'm gonna clean that up. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of the equipment I was using. Again, this is my normal M65. This thing has actually been good so far, but you'll see like things like the weights, the screws became so undone that I couldn't actually fix them at all. So um, yeah, I mean, it's a very lightweight mouse. It's a good mouse. But, you know, just, uh, I, I definitely wanted something that was a little bit more weighty and, uh, you know, just newer and wasn't kind of like busted and used. This is my keyboard. You'll see what I'm talking about. So these were the keys. And I'll try to zoom in here with this camera and adjust the focus. Give me one sec. Uh, focus? Nope. Hold on. Focus. There we go. The power of 4K. You'll see there. I'm still focusing. You'll see there, and what I'll do here is I'll turn off the lights so you can see. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about in regards to my F keys being torn off. You'll see there's two there. Now, sure, you don't use your F keys a lot, right? I barely use these keys, but still, it's like, it's it's just annoying. And sometimes in those rare circumstances where you're gonna wanna need, uh, where you're gonna wanna use those keys, or certain applications require that you use your keys, these are busted. The other thing as well is my control key um, was actually damaged, so I couldn't even, you know, attach that back on. So you'll see, you know, there, it's just kind of uh, frustrating, and it really just looks ugly and hideous. Um, and then, you know, like I said, my, my previous headset was this Xbox headset, which again was a decent sounding headset. I just wanted something that was a lot newer. And then this is my uh, mouse pad that I was using, and you'll see. Nice mouse pad, but yeah, there's definitely some wear on it, some uh, stains and whatnot. It's just dirty, and uh, you know, I definitely need an upgrade, like ten, eleven dollars. This is good, you know. You don't have any of the stitching coming undone, but it's just, uh, it's definitely pretty dirty and needs a fix. All right, so I'm gonna set all this stuff up and clean up this desk, and then I'll show you guys how it looks after. Alrighty, so I'm still working out some of the details, but just wanted to show you guys, uh, basically, the keyboards. The mouses, the heads, everything. This is the entire setup. Pretty nice, huh? So yeah, I'm still going to be working out. I might name the WASD keys. Uh, you know, something, or, or I might color those differently. And then uh, over here, headsets, headsets off right now. But uh, yeah, pretty nice, I have to say. I'm really uh, happy with the way this all looks. So. Anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you guys the setup. Thank you all so much for watching the unboxing, and uh, I will check with you guys later. Don't worry, I am going to do a, eventually a room tour. I'm still getting some things. I need to get a TV over there, but yeah, I will eventually do a room tour and everything. But yeah, pretty happy with the, uh, the PC setup.
Thanks, guys. Have a good one.